Jujitsu in the Restricted section. And today we are going to do a Metal Sean book haul. Yeah. Um, our, our friend Sean mm -hmm. um, got us some free books from his work. He works at the community college here in town and one of the classes was To Be No More. And to it was be like no a reading, more. some sort of reading class. I think like maybe yeah. they like taught people how to read or oh, something. Oh, okay. Um, but he grabbed us a bunch of books from there, which was got, awesome. He got copies for both of us, but I just have my copies here right now. So my copies are at home. <laughs> so, we're just going to show you the books he got us. Yeah, which was super awesome. Yeah, super awesome. Three books. Thanks, Metal Sean. Thanks, Metal Sean. And we're drinking this coffee brown ale from Way Beer. Yeah. Which I never heard of, I don't think. I haven't either. It says they're from Brazil. Great. Oh, it smells good. It smells like coffee. Mm. Ooh, it's weird. It is weird. It's like coffee but sour. Mm hmm. Hmm. What are you? I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, I don't think I like that very much. I don't it's think okay I do either. Mm. I don't love that. Mmm. No, no, no. But let's get, in, <clears throat> let's get in to the books. Let's do it. So the first book is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Yes, which I have been wanting to read because I think it looks kind of cool. Yeah, it does look cool. It's got like photos, photographs, and I mean, everybody's been talking about this. This movie just came out not that long ago, mm -hmm. I think. Um, so... I don't even really know what it's about, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think it's like a home for kids who have like weird abilities, I think. Oh. I don't know like what the action point is. Like I don't know, because something happens obviously mm -hmm. in the film. I don't know what the action point is, but yeah. And this is by Ransom Riggs. I don't think I said that part. But that's cool. I'm Very sure cool. that'll be interesting. Um, he also got us Between Shades of Grey by Ruta... Sepides. Sepides. And I don't know what this one is about. It's a World War II novel, I believe. Yeah, set in Lithuania. So mm -hmm. it's about a 15-year-old who's preparing for art school. Um, and then the Soviet Secret Service arrests her and her mother and her brother. Um, and then they are taken into Siberia. So. I've heard it's very good. Interesting. <clears throat> Next we have Crazy in Alabama by Mark Childress. And I've heard, isn't this a movie too? Yeah, and I like the movie. I've never, I didn't even know it was a book. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen the movie. Maybe. Um, what's it about? <laughs> um, I think that she either kills her husband or he dies and she carries his head around with her in a, like a hat box. Oh, is that the same thing? Crazy in Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. Lucille I've... Vincent murders her and then flees to Hollywood to pursue television fame. Oh, well, her name's Lucille in this book, too. Yeah, I think it's the same. Yeah, story by Mark Childress. Thing. Is that him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. It doesn't say anything about murder on the back. Maybe that's like a secret and I gave it away. Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, it does say a combination of Thelma and Louise and To Kill a Mockingbird. Hmm. Thelma and Louise. I don't know. I, don't know. I liked the movie. <laughs> um, he also got us The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd, um, which is set in 1964, and I actually don't know much about this. I don't either. Uh, let's see. It tells the story of Lily Owens, um, and her mother was killed, and so she has a fierce-hearted black stand-in mother. Um, who insults, I guess, some deep, deep racist in their town. And Lily decides to help them escape. So they escape to South Carolina um, and are taken in by an eccentric trio of black beekeeping sisters. All right. Okay. <clears throat> um, next is a classic that I need to read because I haven't. And it's Treasure Island. Treasure Island. By Robert Louis Stevenson. And this is Erica's favorite classic, I do believe, so we it's should really get on that. We need to get on it. And I'm sure you guys know what this is. 
like pirates and shit. Yeah, pirates and the ocean and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, next is <clears throat> Unwind by Neil Schusterman. Um, and this is about a second civil war that was fought over reproductive rights. Ooh. This sounds really cool. I heard somebody talk about it on BookTube a while back. I feel like maybe it was Jessica and Christina from Game of Tones. Maybe. Oh. Correct me if I'm wrong. I have never um, But it this. sounds really cool because you can like unwind like you... Yeah, like from the moment of conception to the age of 13, you can't do anything to the child. But from 13 to 18, you can have your child unwound and donate all of the, like transplant all of the child's organs into different donors. So life doesn't technically end. So you're basically like aborting a teenager. Yeah. Which is weird. Yeah, and they have these like, they have like the old fashioned checkout cards. Checkout cards. cards. And when um, the, whoever used them in the class, I guess, signed out the book. Yeah. Do you kids remember these? <laughs> Y'all youngins? <laughs> Alright, and then the last one he got us is called Sarah's Key by Tatiana de Rosne. And it's large print, so I'm going to feel like I'm reading it super fast. <laughs> I know. I noticed that. I was like, ooh, large print. <laughs> I was like, oh. Um, and this is set in Paris in 1942, and... Uh, 10-year-old Sarah is brutally arrested with her family in the Veldiv Roundup, the most notorious act of French collaboration with the Nazis. But Sarah has locked her brother in their favorite hiding place and kept the key, thinking she will return soon. And then it flashes forward to Paris 2002 on Veldiv's 60th anniversary. American journalist Julia Jarmond is asked to write about this black day in France's past, in the course of her investigation, Julia stumbles onto a trail of family seers that connects her to Sarah. Hmm. So, I guess they read a lot of, like, World War II stuff. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. In this class. But, um, yeah, all those books sound really sound good. Sound really good. Yeah, and so. there was a few that were, like, already on my radar. So, thank you, Metal Sean. Thank you, Metal Sean. That was very thoughtful. Yes. And, um... I don't love this. <laughs> this beer is like coffee, it's but weird. sour. Yeah, it tastes like coffee, but it also tastes like a sour beer. I don't, I don't like it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, I don't like that. It's not good. So we would not recommend this. We would not. Unless you're really into sour beers, I guess, because we're not. Yeah, we're, we don't like those. We don't like sour beers. Mm -hmm. I don't understand the appeal. I don't either. Oof. <laughs> All right, so yeah. that's our Metal Sean book haul. Yes. Um, as usual, there'll be some links down below where you can find us elsewhere on social media if you would like to. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Do it. If you would like to. <laughs> if you would like to. Or even if you wouldn't like to, just maybe try it anyway. Yeah, just try it out. It'll, we'll grow on you. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.